So we're looking at an expected value problem. And in this problem, we have a company that's estimating 0.8% of their products are gonna fail after the original warranty period, but within two years of purchase, and the replacement cost will be 100. So that means the 8%, let's do it darker. So 8% is 0 0.008. And this is the chance it fails. And we're going to multiply that by the cost of failing. And the cost of failing is 100. So we multiply this together. Uh, you could use calculator or multiply by 100. It means move your decimal place over twice. So this is 0 0.8. Uh, this is in dollars. So that's the expected value, or in this case, the expected cost per unit. So there's a very small chance it fails. $100 is the cost of failure. So you multiply these two together and you get the actual expected value or the expected cost. Now the second part of the question, they offer the warranty for $12. So we have our $12 warranty. The cost, so this is how much they're selling it for, uh, minus their cost, which is only $0.8. And that subtraction right there is $11.2 profit from the warranty. This, by the way, is how every warranty is calculated, which means if you can afford to replace the product, you should not buy the warranty because they will always make money off the warranty they sell you. Won't always be this much, uh, but nobody's gonna sell you a warranty that in the long run is gonna cost them more money. So they've done all these computations.